Hi guys, welcome back to Nightmare Frames. Um, it's been a while, I realize that. It's been like three months. Um, I have a very good reason for being gone for so long though. Um, back in March, my, uh, my dad passed away, which you are probably already aware of if you follow me on Twitter. Um, and yeah, that, uh, that caused a lot of chaos. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really have a good relationship with him, but it was, uh, it was just, you know, a whole disruption and dealing with all, you know, uh, family stuff, and it was just a lot. Um, and then I also, you know, um, I've tried to come back a few times, but dealing with technology problems... But that's okay, I'm back now, hopefully for a good while at least. So, um, when we last left off, I had escaped a cannibal, I remember, in the sewers. And then I came up here. So now, uh, we gotta go find a reporter guy. Um, also, I lost the cover to my mic. Um, I tested it out and it didn't sound bad. Um... But yeah, if there's any noise disruption, uh, sorry about that. But yeah, let's uh, let's go. I remember a good deal of what's been happening, right? <laughs> right, me? Um, knocking on every door to get information about Keller is not the most rational course of action. Okay, ooh, lots and lots of missing posters. Oh, this is for the same girl? You've seen these posters of Mary Elizabeth Hellman all over town but not a single one for the recently missing Sarah Jordan. All right. Um, yes. There were two girls that went missing. Hi, sir. Matt Fridley talks nonstop. You can barely hear what he's saying. However, you could catch a few stray words through the cabin vents. What are the stray words? Okay, I guess I don't know. Also, do I know that man? I can't remember him. I remember the cop guy I was in the sewers with. He's gonna, um, bring that cannibal to the police station, I think. Uh, drugstore. Ooh, this looks very old-fashioned. Gumballs. Given that there have been no children in Serena for over a decade and that they were the only ones who came to buy chewing gum, these must be hard as rocks. Good point. You haven't eaten anything since you woke up in the cell at the police station. By now, you should be hungry. But eating is the last thing on your mind right now. Uh, hello, sir. Paul Collins. Hello. We have a deputy, as far as I can see. Uh, yes, my name is Alan Goldberg. Paul Collins. Pleased to meet you. I think this is the first open establishment I've seen. And the only one. The owners of the few businesses that remained have either passed away or left Serena. The locals didn't care much. Repair shops? No one leaves this town. Not even to go to Wade Creek. Clothes? They make do with what they already have. As for food, I have everything here. There are also a couple of farms in case anyone craves meat or eggs. Does the name Edward Keller sound familiar? Yes. A weirdo who wanted to shoot a movie here. He died of a heart attack before finishing it. I think that's what happened. I never cared much for him. I'll take a look around the store. Perfect. Okay. Well. Scary tales. <laughs> you read a paragraph. Armed with courage, Rachel reached for the doorknob. Her daughter's screams faded as the door opened. Fearing of losing her again, she pushed the door with all her might and was met again by that massive stone figure. It can't be. We broke you into a thousand pieces. Before fainting, Rachel thought she saw a hint of a smile on his stony face. Not bad. For a moment, you picture yourself at your desk writing a similar scene where the figure doesn't appear when the doors open, and instead Rachel discovers it behind her after having unsuccessfully searched the room. That, that's creepy. I like that. You don't need any medicine you want to buy. Um... You would have to stand behind the counter for that. If Paul Collins gave you his permission, of course. Okay, I think I have a map, right? How do I open the map? Do I just go this way and it'll lead me to the map? Yes, okay. Um, 
Police Station, Serena Gazette, we've been there, Bill Eastman, we talked with Main Street Church, we went there, Cemetery, Marsh Family House, Bridge, Gordon Dagger. oh wait, is this guy I need to talk to, Bill Eastman? Yes. Someone's broken in, Bill. I know where that son of a bitch is coming from. Who are you? Uh, I'm sorry to burst you in like to burst in on you like this, but I heard some yelling and I thought I my name is Alan Goldberg. Robert Saxon told me you live near Serena. Who the hell is Robert Saxon, Bill? Robert Saxon. Yes. A great friend, long time no see. Kick him out, Bill. Get that fucking bastard out of my house. I don't know what brought you here, Goldberg, but I can't help you right now. Florence, my wife. She's not we fled Serena because it wasn't safe. That town must go up in flames. It must be purified. Dementia. She is too young to have it. I was going to say, she seems young. I've managed to put together a routine to keep her calm. The classical hour program on WK107, for example. She listens to it every evening and it helps her relax. However, it's running late today because there's a special broadcast about that missing girl in Serena. She's dead. They're all dead. If her routine is altered, she gets nervous and her heart starts racing. She can get tachycardia. I didn't pronounce that right, probably. And I'd be happy to talk to you, Goldberg, but it will have to be later. Of course, I understand. Robert's friends are my friends, too. You're welcome at my home. Let's try the breathing exercises, shall we? No. Where's my music? Where? Okay, well, it looks like I... Good thing I went to a pharmacy. Uh, what was I gonna say? That guy kind of looked like Steven Seagal to me, a little bit. His face... Uh, where should I go? Did I go to the cemetery that was by the church? Oh, no, I haven't been... Why am I at the cemetery? See, this is why I should have watched my last video. I was lazy. Shit. You startled me. What are you doing here? I wanted to take a look at the cemetery. It's not possible, I just closed it. She doesn't want to leave today. Who? Her, damn it. Charlotte Wilkes. Who is Charlotte Wilkes? Thomas Wilkes' wife? She shows up at the mausoleum from time to time. I try to avoid her, but today she's been in there all day. Wait a minute, you mean it's a ghost, yes. I don't want to be reasonable for any misfortune, so the cemetery will remain closed until further notice. But wouldn't it- Sorry, my dog just scared me. I forgot the doggy door was open and she went through it. But wouldn't it be possible? No. It is not possible. And something tells me that you're going to try to get inside anyway, so... I'm going to stand guard outside the door so you don't get any funny ideas. I have all day, is that clear? I- You're gonna let a ghost in, but you're not gonna let me in? Uh, Willie. Willie. Was Willie the name of the guy from the... No. Oh, The Simpsons. <laughs> I'm thinking of groundskeeper Willie from The Simpsons. I thought that was the name of the cemetery guy from Gabriel Knight, but I'm thinking of The Simpsons. Um, how could I get into the cemetery? You're a law enforcement officer, aren't you? Get a warrant, and we would still have to talk it over. Do you really believe that there's a ghost in the cemetery? Not in the cemetery, in the mausoleum. And if I can't get rid of her, at least I can make her stay there. And if she gets out of there, we're all doomed. We'll all be doomed. She was already cruel when she was alive, so I can't imagine how she will be in death. I know they told us who the Wilkeses were, but I... <laughs> oh god, Emma. Is there anything I can do for you? You're being polite, so I'll let you in, right? Forget it, that won't work on me. Even if I say please? Okay, I'm leaving. I'll be right here. I don't trust you. I I am a law enforcement officer, okay? One of the only ones here. I get it, you probably don't trust cops. That's fine. I will hopefully get a warrant or something. I'm gonna go to the pharmacy. Where's the pharmacy? Main Street, here we go. Medicine, medicine, medicine. 
You know what CD Mesh said? I want the Ty... Ty... Whatever the fuck it's called. You notice that the design of the tobacco packages does not belong to this decade. Cool. Does tobacco go bad? I feel like it wouldn't. I don't think alcohol does. So I don't know. Well, alcohol and tobacco are different, but... I don't know. Um, what else can I click on? Can I ask you for the... I'm going to call it T because I can't pronounce it. How may I help you? I will... Ha <sighs> okay. Um, can I go back here? There is no side forbidding access to non-employees, but you don't need one to let you know you can't go in there, right? I could go in there if I could sneak in there if there's a way. You take a closer look at the picture and the only thing missing from it is the phone booth. Hmm. Do I need to do something with the phone booth? Matt Fitfordley has been hogging the WK107 phone line for some time now, shutting out those who also want to provide some insight into Sarah Jordan's disappearance. Okay, so this is why the lady can't listen to her music. Um, what do I have in my inventory? I got some bread, I got some wires, I got a cross key thingy, and a gas can. Hello, Izzy! My dog just came in. The clothes and accessories inside have been collecting dust for 15 years. No one has set foot inside Jenny's fashion since it closed. Can I go the other way, or will that just lead me to the exit? Because I came up here gonna make me exit right um I do not think I have been here this does not look familiar ooh ooh very spooky I do not like this holy crap Upside down crosses of ram's head and several strange symbols make up the sinister pentagram that Keller drew with. Paint? You're not quite sure. So this is where Keller stayed. Cool that it's not locked. I just walked right in, but no one's been here for a while, apparently. Um, fun fact, the upside down cross is considered, at least in some religions, to be St. Peter's cross. So the upside down cross is not necessarily satanic. The actual satanic cross um, has like a circle thingy in it, I think. I'm trying to remember what it looks like. I can't remember. It doesn't seem to have a drop of fuel in it. Oh, oh, guess what I have? Guess what I have? Yay! By illuminating the wall, you realize that there's a small cabinet hidden by the darkness. Cool. Oh, it's closed. You examine the small lock. It has the shape of a cross. Yes! This is what we have the key for. Inside, you see a key with a label. What does the label say? No, it can't be. <laughs> The key was lying on a small film reel. Is this it? Is that the film you were looking for? It can't. It really can't be. There's only one way to find out. You place the film in the feed shaft, and with a satisfi satisfied smile, you flip the switch on the drive motor. Hi, sir. The disease is spreading faster than I thought. Oh, is this like an, uh, a video diary? I barely have any strength left. I'm running out of time. Although coming to Serena to conclude the ritual was the best idea I ever had, the city's history has been written in blood since its foundation. There is no corner in town where there hasn't been a tragedy. This house, for example, it's perfect for my intentions. I can still smell the misery. Nelson Marsh got up early that day. He butchered his three daughters and his wife before the clock struck eight. Still soaked in their blood, he had breakfast like any other day, and no one in town ever knew what had happened. The o they only discovered the bodies after Marsh died. The people of Serena didn't give it any importance. There can be no other place in the world more suitable for my job. Everything is ready. I think I've spent enough time on the 
invocations. But I am concerned about the final offerings. I can't afford to go little by little. I need to do something big, more than what is strictly required. This will ensure that the pact is carried out with all the guarantees. I can't wait to feel their fears, to shape them, to become... Ugh. Oh no. What? I don't like this. Okay. Hey, you in the house. Get out of there, damn it. You look around the room hoping to see some trace of the phenomenon you have just witnessed. Are you deaf? I'm not going to repeat it anymore. Get the fuck out of there. Do I know- I don't know you, I don't think. Well, maybe you should have locked the door then. Hey, you. What the hell were you doing in there? Investigating? Investigating? Damn it, investigating what? That house is doomed, it always was. And even more so because of that film director. I don't need you to come and make everything worse. Uh, take it easy, pal. Did he point a gun at me or did he just point at me? I couldn't tell. And put the iron rod down. Oh, it's a rod. Easy? I live right next door with my family. I don't want old Marsh to come and kill my family like he did with his own because of you. Because of me? For God's sake, will you stop threatening me with that thing? Are you giving me orders? Kind of, I'm a law enforcement officer. Fuck it. <gasps> Ow! You could have killed me! That will teach you not to stick your nose where it doesn't belong. And don't come back here. Am I unconscious? I guess I am. Oh no, I don't like that. Want to see what I shot, Alan? Why are you saying my name? <laughs> they are right. It's the scariest movie ever. Uh, okay, every film needs an audience. This one even more so. It's all yours, Alan. Look for it, Alan. Alan, hi, officer guy. Oh my god, are you my head. I feel as if- as if some fucker hit you with this iron rod, right? Tell me who did this. A guy. He said he lived next door. Oh, he- oh, hollerin. That damn heck. Do you want to report him, Alan? No, it's not necessary. Did I hear you say yes? <laughs> Maybe this kind of thing is the norm in Los Angeles, but not here. At least not with me as chief of police. I'll give that son of a bitch what he deserves right now. Let it be, Rick. What? Do you want an assault on a law enforcement officer to go unpunished? Because that's what you are, my friend. Take this. Iron Rod. Don't let anyone assault you again. Although I don't want you to go around cracking heads either. I'll pay O'Halloran a visit. I don't know if Chief Floyd tolerated these things, but I don't. Be careful, Alan. By the way, how's your quest for the film going? Keller used to live in this house. I want to take a look. And what did you find? Bad stuff. Eh, no signs of it. Maybe it's somewhere else. Or someone in town has it. I hope so, Rick. I hope so. See, now would be the time when I would go, maybe I should stop. Actually, I probably, I probably would have stopped a long time ago. But I'm the protagonist of a horror game, and I'm not going to let spooky stuff stop me. So, can I go back in the house? You think it would be wise to search the house in case you missed something, but you were afraid to relive what you saw there. A fear that has nothing to do with old March's apparition, but rather with the nagging feeling that you're probably losing your mind. All right, well that was productive question mark. I do have, what do I have? I have, oh wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to Main Street real quick cause I can't check my inventory from the map and I wanna see what the label says. The key is attached to label on which the words Mr. Keller's Crypt are written. So I have to get into the cemetery. How am I gonna do that? How am I going to do that? Um, wait, am I walking by myself? Oh, I did not mean to... 
uh, that I have some pliers too. What am I going to do with the pliers? Uh, no, I didn't mean to click on that. I should go um, to... I want to go to the bridge because I want to talk to that guy who knew Saxon. Do I have to get the dog? I can't remember. It's the, the stuffed dog. Uh, hello, sir. Mr. Saxon. Yeah? Did I talk to you already? Can you tell me something about Keller? What little I know is what Bill told me. Apparently he came here to shoot a movie. I think I've had this conversation. Never saw a cat equipment. I have no idea what happened to him. Uh, disappeared. Okay. I must go take care. Okay. Um... Cerritic Z is where I got the address. Um... Can I- I feel like I ha I know I have to do something with that toll booth, that phone booth. Um... Sir, would you like some bread? Can I threaten him? If your idea is to get Mr. Fridley out of the booth, try something else. Um, hmm. Maybe I should try going to the cemetery. And, uh, if you manage to force the shutter open, you will only find an old wooden table and several rusty metal shelves among layers of dust. Um, hmm. Maybe I need a phone to call the phone booth. Or I'm going to go to the cemetery and ask my dude here about the key. You're not going to convince Willie with that. Um, do I have a badge? You want some money? Uh, several credit cards and enough notes to get by without an ATM. Okay, so I have cash. Can I not do anything? Okay, I'm gonna try going to um, the police station and I'm gonna try phoning um, the station, the radio station. It's Margaret speaking from Serena. Who would you like to call? Um, I already talked to both of you. I know that for a fact. Um, see, the phone number for the missing girl hotline thing is on one of the posters I remember, but it won't let me call it, so I don't know what to do. So, I think I'm going to leave it off here. I've played for a decent amount of time, and I think this is good for my first foray back. Um, I'm hoping to be uploading more regularly now that I'm finally getting back into this. Uh, thank you guys for being so patient with me. I know these videos don't get a lot of views, but it really means a lot. Um, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.